Hey guys, Bob Nugent. So, I figured I'm out here bailing some hay. Pardon my appearance, it's very hot out. Um, so yeah, I'm out bailing some hay today. I uh, figured I'd show you guys what it looks like and whatnot. Um, it's a nice day. This, it's, this was some uh, first cutting, which yes, it is a little late for first cutting, but uh, it's whenever you can get to it. But this is actually coming out as some really nice hay right now. We mowed it yesterday afternoon and actually it was dry enough that we decided to bail it tonight. So enjoy. So as you can see right there, that's the feeder house. It goes over that auger pushes the hay over. And here there's a big plunger, it's like a giant fist and it makes the bale and the bale is going to go out to the kicker there and the kicker is going to kick it into the wagon so hopefully you guys can see it um we'll see what happens first time doing this so bear with me i'm going to turn it on bring the tractor up to speed and here we go So this stuff got raked pretty heavy, which is good because, like I said, the baler will take it. It's just the kicker in the back, and you just saw a bale go. So, yeah, that's how it goes. Hay goes in there, it gets plungered. Oops, I'm paying more attention to you guys than what I'm doing. I just lost another bale. Dang, damn it. I guess this is why they say you shouldn't be on your phone and drive at the same time. So yeah. Let you guys watch some of that. I find, somebody asked me what's, what my favorite, if I actually, if I enjoy doing hay, and if I did, what parts I like. Well, I hate this, I can't really say I enjoy every aspect of doing hay. I don't mind doing hay. It gives me something to do in the summer, which I know people say, well, there's lots of other things you can do, but this isn't fun. You get to play with machinery. But I would say what I like most is making, is actually bailing. And I enjoyed it with the old New Holland, but I enjoy it even more now with this newer John Deere. So, yeah, but there's something mesmerizing about watching hay go in there and loose like that and come out the other end as a bale. All right, guys, so I figured now I'll show you. You guys can watch what the kicker does. Um, I got to the end of the windrow, so I had to get turned around and try and uh, had to move my video mount. So here we go. So we just go along and picks the hay up, eventually it'll kick one out, hopefully, up oh, there it goes. So the side will kick, if you watch where that bale just came out, there will be another one coming fairly soon. Right about now. So that's where the bale's caught, that's the kicker. And this is called the side hill kick, I can turn it sideways. And what that does is, which I can kind of try it like that, see, well that was a bad idea. So, all that allows me to do is if I was on a steeper hill, which I am going across a slight hill, it would kick it straight. But otherwise, if it was fixed right to the machine, I can't, it would kick at an angle and miss the wagon most of the time. But also it comes in handy when you're trying to go around a corner, you can just flop it in there. But trying to... The wagon's getting kind of full. I don't know how many bales are in there. I think there's about 100 bales in there so far. Um, so, trying to get her as full as I can. But yeah, that's that's what the side hill kick is, and that's the kicker. This is what, when you're out bailing hay, this is what you do, you just go around in circles. Boost her up a little bit. 
kick a little harder. So I, this bale, this kicker has four different kicking positions, powers, I guess is how you could say it. It's the power, and uh, there's eight of them. I only have it at that time. We were at four. So they tell me an eight will kick it over this wagon. Well, sorry, I guess you're not in the wagon. You're looking at the trees right now. I got to turn around and. Oh, I should have picked up my bale over there. I got a bale over here I missed, so I got to pick that guy up and throw her in. But yeah, that's, you guys get the idea. Yep. So, like I said, nothing real spectacular. So this is the bale I told you guys I had to stop and pick up. When uh, we started filming, when I was filming the one part, I kind of lost track of what I was doing and it fell, kicked it right off the side. So now I got to try to get it up in there. It's pretty tall. It's taller than I am. See if you guys can, maybe I can set up so you guys can see it. It'll probably be an epic fail. There we go. Let's see if I can make it over. It's probably going to be pretty silly for you guys. Cool! Win! I made it! And hopefully you guys saw it. How was that guys? I hope you uh, enjoyed some of the special footage. <laughs> I don't know. I, I got this mount for my phone for the tractor because I'm tired of my phone bouncing around in here and I figured, you know, hey, instead of just talking about this, I'll show you guys what the baler does. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do, like it. You know, hit like, obviously. Tell your friends about us. So, this hay is actually some uh, hay we're doing for a neighbor. Every once in a while, we get asked to do this. So, this is actually the first year we decided to do it. And it's going well. All our hay is done. I have one rule, and this is my own rule. As I got it, I like to get mine done first. It sounds selfish, but. I just, that's just how I am. I want to get my fields done and then I'll go help whoever else. So, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This wagon is almost full. I would guess there's at least 130 on this wagon. I'm trying to get to the end of this windrow and get as much hay on there as I can, but the stacker is not working today. Anyway, y'all have a fun rest of your time on your phone or computer, wherever you're watching me from, and stay cool these during these next hot couple days, and catch you on the next one. Bye.